you stay till eight at night and you're just hunkering down and all this, that is not security for your plumbers. They're going, what? He's doing something wrong. Why in the world is the owner of the business right. constantly working? Hey, 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 plumbing pros. Welcome to the 393rd episode of Potty Talk. I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, <laughs> along with my co-host, the lovely Laura. I haven't said that in a long time, so I just wanted to say oh, that. yeah, you haven't. I know. <laughs> in case you didn't know, all right, <laughs> who we are here. Hey, but a fun episode here. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're going to talk about how do I have more freedom Our with my plumbing business. Favorite topic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Freedom. Mm-hmm. Yes. In fact, we're all about you know, what we call the freedom lifestyle. Uh-huh. And we get in it. So how do we get to the freedom lifestyle? And that's, that's one thing we talk about. You, you'll probably hear it off and on with, you know, on potty talk here mm-hmm. and certainly within the success Academy and with our clients, mm-hmm. you know, the, the objective is to get to what we call the freedom lifestyle. Mm-hmm. So how can we do that with our plumbing business? I don't know. Okay. While we're working and growing <laughs> All right, and laboring in our plumbing mm-hmm. business. Mm-hmm. All right, so what so will leave? It feels like you're a slave to your plumbing business. Yes, mm. and it can often often feel like that. Mm-hmm. But here's some things you can do. Okay. So it's not like that, and you can get, gain more freedom. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. All right. First of all, mm-hmm. all right. No nights, no weekends. <laughs> no on call. No on call. Don't tune us out. Okay. Don't tune us well, out. All right. No, Listen, I got to do. I got to do on yeah, call. Well, we're a plumbing company. We all have right. to do on call. We've got to be there for our customers. No, you uh, don't. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You don't. No, nope. you don't. Other guys are going to do it. Let them. Right. Let them have it. Let Rotor Rooter right. work work their guys to all hours of the night and be the weekends and, and be do all that. And, right. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And upset customers who are upset because it's they don't want you. First of all, no one wants to call a plumber, and they certainly don't want to have a plumber there at you know ten o'clock at night mm-hmm. or on a Saturday when it's their day off. Mm-hmm. Okay, or whatever, right. whatever. They really don't want to mm-hmm. do do that. They're even right. they're even more ticked and at it. And yeah. nine times, not nine, I'd say half the time when um, customers want to schedule something after hours, it's not an emergency. Okay, right. yes, there are valid emergencies, right? There are valid plumbing emergencies. We get it. Um, but there are other companies that take care of that. So let them. Yes, let them let, take care well, of I'll it. lose, you know, I'm, I'm going to lose customers. No, what? You won't. no, you won't. Okay. Now, uh, the flip side of this is we're going to take every customer Monday through Friday, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, eight to five. Yep. Okay. You're going yep. to do all the, okay. Yep. And we, that's, that's a different subject here. Mm-hmm. Okay. But we're talking about gaining more freedom and one of the, 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 the freedom zapping that the, what yeah. enslaves us to our plumbing businesses, this, this night and nights and weekends right. working on call mm. and we don't have to do it. Right. Even if, we, um, you're not the one in the truck anymore, you've got employees, right? Um, if you've got an employee out at 10 o'clock at night or on the weekend, on Sunday or whatever, you, you're mentally there because, for one, your equipment's out there, your your assets, which is also which is your equipment and your employees, out there. Um, and so your your mind is there. It's right. almost impossible to you know, know that you've got a plumber out, you know, doing some sort of emergency call and for you not to be thinking about it. So, right. Mm. So it's, you know, yeah, you're, that's, that's a great point there. You, you know, you're out there still working, even if you're not physically out there doing it. Okay. But, but you want to give, <coughs> you want to give your people a rest. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I sit it all the time. I just want to, Hey guys, Monday through Friday here, I can put spurs to you. I mean, we're going to get things done. Mm-hmm. That's what we're paid to do here. Mm-hmm. All right. And we're going to have a good time doing it. Mm-hmm. All right. And then go home on the weekends at night. Just go go home. Right. You know, do what do whatever it is you do. Be with all right. your family. Right. Um, but whatever. Be back here seven thirty a.m. Monday mm-hmm. morning. Yes. Right, ready to go. Yes. Okay. And if I'm talking to, I want to address the wives um, who you know, their husband owns a plumbing business. You guys own it together. Um, and your husband may be saying, "No, I have to. I've got to work on call. We've got to be weekends." Wives, how sick and tired are you um, of having your husband? Um, paged. I almost said paged. I know paged. <laughs> <laughs> like with a pager. Right. Get, you know, a phone call at eight o'clock at night and he's got to go off and take care of a plumbing job or 11 o'clock at night or Saturday, Saturday. When it's or even to, just being on call. Yes. Is that just, part, you're always waiting for that mm-hmm, to happen. Waiting for it to happen. Right. Um, wives, it doesn't have to be this way. It doesn't. it doesn't have to be this way. We had a mastermind meeting the other night with, with all of our um, master level clients. Um, and one was relatively new, and I'm going to call, say his name, Joe. So if you're watching Joe, you know I'm talking about you. This, for him and his wife, or mostly for him, this was a whole new concept. Because he's owned his plumbing business for quite some time. Right. I think it's been in the family or something. Yes. Um, but it was a whole new thing. But his wife was sitting there going, man, I'm so tired of him being gone in the middle of the night. Or, um, you know, on a weekend or a holiday, for heaven's sakes. It's, 
I, I want him home with us. I want him home with our family. Um, and so they're making that change. And I'm, I'm so anxious to see where, how where Joe finally catches it. It's like, I really can right. not we, work nice and weak. Well, we had all the other masters that were yeah. they've been through this. Would you do it? Just do <laughs> it. Just do, do it. it. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. And you won't lose. You won't lose customers. You won't. I mean, well, I could have gained. I could have gained this call. I could have gained. No, no, you don't. You just it, let let some things go, right. okay? Mm-hmm. Um, just so that your your people, your equipment has time to just rest. Mm-hmm. You have time to be away from it. Right. Now, I'm not saying again Monday through Friday through the time we're here to do the job, we're working. okay? And we're get we're getting things done, mm-hmm. okay? But t- have th- have that time off, okay? Mm-hmm. You don't you don't need. That's that's one of the. the First hurdles to get over. Absolutely, you don't need to work, you know, nights and nice weekends and, weekends. and holidays. Okay, you just right. don't. You'll, you'll I, still we, make millions. Right, we've got right. case study after case study after right. case study, and almost all the guys in the beginning say, "There's no way. No There's way. just no way." Well, when they do, they're like, "Oh, I've got a life again. I feel like I've got freedom." You know that because again, you've started your plumbing business. We hear this all the time. What's the main reason you started your plumbing business? The answer is freedom. They want freedom. Well, then why in the world would you <laughs> create a plumbing business that depends on the, the no freedom, right? On right. on enslaving you to your business, being 24-7, doesn't matter what day, Christmas, Thanksgiving, 4th of July, doesn't matter, right? That's not freedom. No. That's not freedom at all. You created, it's your plumbing business. You can do whatever. If you only want to work Mondays and Wednesdays, go ahead. Right. It's your plumbing business. You can decide. Um, it doesn't have to go. You don't have to follow the standard that everybody else has. There's, again, plenty of other plumbing companies out there that will do it. So your your customers can can go to them if there's a, a true emergency, a true emergency. Um, but anyway, sorry. Exactly. That's, that's my well, soapbox. And on, on that, <laughs> I was thinking as you you're, you're speaking, you know, the 24-7 and all mm-hmm. that, you know, we'd still have, have something like Plumbline. Uh, the, the, answering you know, the answering service, service or whatever mm-hmm. yep. to, to answer the calls. Absolutely. You know, and schedule, cause then you can come in, you know, they'll, they'll take the calls over the weekend yes. and we'll schedule some. Yes. That, some that's will, a great point. Right, yeah. You're set up for Monday. Right. We, we right. recommend highly recommend plumb line, the answering service for plumbing companies. Right. And you can, and it's super simple to set up, but you can set your phones to then bring to them, you know, at stop at five o'clock. Um, you know, every, every night to pick all the phone calls up over the weekend or on holidays or whatever it is. And they'll book the calls for you. They'll right. book the calls for you. They'll get them on your schedule. So you'll show up Monday and you, you've got, you know, two or three calls on the board. Some people, they, they get their Mondays totally booked up um, exactly. because of the calls that come in on the weekend. So, so you want to learn more about that? Go to the million dollar plumber.com mm-hmm. forward slash. Uh, well, no, just go to the, yeah. um, the power tool section on, yes. on the page there. Yes, go to power more, tools up in the tape. Um, Menu up there. It says yeah. Power Tools. I actually think right. it is slash Plumb Line. Okay, but I'm not sure. Okay, <laughs> so yeah, go to the Power but Tools. But then uh, mm-hmm. because because they give um, to Potty Talk listeners, they do give a nice discount. Yes, mm-hmm. and they take extra good care of you. Yes, all right, yeah, they take care of us. <laughs> yeah, we, so we stop love working nights and weekends. Stop having your guys out on nights and weekends. You get a life back and let your guys get their life back. On that, why, why you want to have the phone? At, just part of that uh, answer. Mm-hmm. You just tell them. The, there's no one available tonight, but our next, we have someone available Monday morning. That's, that's the line. That's what Plum Line will do. But Google, and it'll be scheduled there for you, but Google likes that the phones are being answered. Correct. And that, that yes. kind of thing. So, so it helps, you know. Helps, helps with the algorithm. Yeah, you don't want your phone calls. If you're closed um, and, and um, someone calls in on, on your LSA line or your GMB line and you don't answer it, that is a red flag for Google, and right. they will certainly ding you. So that's on the marketing side of things. Mm-hmm. But the bottom line is, you don't have to work nights and weekends. <laughs> Stop working nights and weekends and the on-call thing. Get a life. All right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Get a life. <laughs> Certainly more freedom. All yep. right. Uh-huh. Which leads to then too mm-hmm. another way of getting more freedom is schedule the time off. <laughs> Actually, it helps. It's schedule <laughs> schedule the time off mm-hmm. in your plumbing business. But there's no time. I can't take a minute right. off from my plumbing business. Right, I just can't take a minute off. That's the trap, and mm-hmm. we, we get it. There, there's always there's never going to be any time. There's customers there's, that just want me. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing something wrong there. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, if your if your plumbing business depends on you being there all the time. Um, you, you've not built a business. You've created a job for yourself. Yes. You've totally created a job for yourself. If, even if you have 20 trucks, but the business still depends on you being there, you've created a job you've for yourself. Job. You haven't created an asset. And you're not going to be able to sell that asset because no one's, no one of real money is not going to want to buy it. No, it because it depends, it depends on, on, you. on you. Right. Right. So they're going to come in and buy your plumbing company and then need to have you be there to run it. Right. So now you work for the company that just bought your plumbing so business. So even if you're trying to increase, you know, at the same time, you're trying to create more freedom here. 
in the mind, you know, and also the idea of, um, you know, creating value in the asset. That's what you want to do. Right. You're really trying to work yourself out of a job, yes. <laughs> right? You're trying to, you know, create where uh, other things are going on. Okay. Mm-hmm. Which then it creates, you know, to freedom. So mm-hmm. as we're starting that it's, but it's awfully hard. Cause I remember, I remember that transition. You feel guilty. Mm-hmm. I mean, I felt guilty. Taking time for, off. for taking time off, or mm-hmm. I couldn't, it had to be done. And I, I understand this customer's house. I mean, mm-hmm. was when I'm coming from the truck mm-hmm. still and that kind of, and so there, there's a lot of guilt associated with it. Mm-hmm. Also the pride, I'm a working guy. I mean, I, I don't know if it, you, uh, you, you other guys feel. would feel yeah. like that. I'm, mm-hmm. I get things done. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't shirk my responsibility. <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, the, I'm the first one in, the last one out. <laughs> I'll show the guys I can dig a ditch just like they can. Yeah, right. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. please <laughs> stop for the love of God. Right. Stop. We got to be beyond that. But yes. you got it. So part of that is starting that is is actually scheduling the scheduling time. Scheduling the time off. You know, and it's okay to say your your guys are going to ask you know where you're going. I mean, we had a, a client here that recently kind of told them a, a fib. Yeah, they felt guilty. You know, they like felt so guilty of taking time time off. Right. Said, no, no. it's only they're going to a funeral or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what? If you're, if you're watching, you know who you are. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but no, you don't feel guilty at all. They're, right. they're always going to say something, especially if you're right. smaller. Smaller, you know, we've got maybe two or three, four guys. Right. Um, they're going to say something. It doesn't matter. Right. Really, it gives them security. Right. You know what? That's my the owner great of my point. company is running his business so well um, that he can take time off and go spend money, you know, going to Florida, wherever it might be, right? He's, do, he's doing all those things. I have a job. I'm getting paid good money. I've got great equipment, my great truck, all the things. Um, that gives them a sense of security, not that you're constantly there. It, it gives them it's the exact opposite. If you are constantly there, you know, you're the first one in at six in the morning and you stay till eight at night and you're just hunkering down and all this, that is not security for your plumbers. They're going, what? He's doing something wrong. Why in the world is the owner of the business right. constantly working? And, you know, and we, we think we're, we're showing everybody that we're, we're, you know, nose to the grindstone and I'm here for you <laughs> and all, you know, and that, okay, that's not what's, that's, that's not, not how they're looking at it. No, it's not what's being portrayed. Right. At you all. know, the fact that you could take time away, it's kind of, it's, it's kind of the same thing, but not every call was an opportunity for your plumbing business. Stop missing those opportunities with plumb line. Plumb line is a 24 seven, 365 days a year answering surface exclusively for professional plumbing companies. Whether you're the plumber owner still in the truck who needs someone to answer the phone, need the service line answered nights and weekends, just want to catch those overflow calls, Plumline is a no-brainer. Sign up with Plumline today. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash Plumline and mention that you're a Potty Talk listener to receive priority onboarding. You know, if I saw my doctor, I'd, I'd like to know what my doctor would pull up, you know, that was going to operate on me. <laughs> he's pulling up in a Mercedes or a Bentley or something, you know, something <laughs> right. nice. Because uh-huh. he's made my, that means he's good. Not a Ford Taurus. Ford like Taurus. Right. <laughs> right. You know, he pulled up in a, kind of a little bit beater, beater Taurus. Truck. Yeah. It's like, I don't uh-huh. trust. Well, it's the same with you know, kind of how the guys are looking at you. Mm. You know, if you can't come and go, it's like how... Yeah, there's no security. They're, they're going to make fun of you that you have money. Mm-hmm. You're, you're the man now. They think you're back at the house <laughs> swimming in, you know, hundred dollar bills, literally, mm-hmm. and you know, mm-hmm. smoking them. Yep. You know, <laughs> yeah, on the fire, <laughs> you're still throwing, throwing big, yeah. big wads or what do you call wrapped up dollar bills yeah. or hundred dollar bills? <laughs> you know, and, into the fire. They they really think that's what's going on. Okay, so they're always going to have you know something to say. Mm-hmm. But the reality that you do pull up in a nice whatever, you take the time off. Mm-hmm whatever actually gives the guys, you know, security, Security, yes. you know, so, so take the time schedule. And we had to, we had to schedule the time. So yeah. we started and this is what helped us. It actually helped us grow mm. um, is we scheduled a trip every mm. quarter. Yes. Um, you know? Every quarter we go somewhere in the beginning. Yes. It was, you know, someplace that maybe didn't little cost more, a lot, little more basic, right? right. but it, it kind of got us in the mindset of we're getting away from the business. We're stepping away. Right. We're taking time for ourselves. Cause we didn't in the beginning, gosh, yeah. the first, um, I don't know, three, four or five years. Oh, I, mean, I mean, we're looking back, we feel guilty, you know, like we didn't feed the kids dinner huh? or like we didn't eat dinner till like eight o'clock at night. Remember the time? Yeah. I understand what you're saying. Or when, when we started, we were working so much, oh, mm-hmm. you know, that we just grind, 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 mm-hmm. that all of a sudden it's 8 o'clock and we haven't fed the kids yet. <laughs> and the kids are like, are we ever going to eat, eat before <laughs> bedtime? <laughs> right. Eat. What well, you, we right. fed you yesterday. <laughs> you got to eat <laughs> you again spoiled today. spoiled brats. Spoiled privileged children. Uh, right. Yes. But yes, yeah, scheduling time. Um, again, in the beginning, it may just be something, you know, over a weekend or, or whatever, but um, eventually get it to where you're going maybe Friday through Monday, getting on a plane, going somewhere, you and your wife more often than not. Yes. Other times, certainly take the kids along. Um, but 
putting on the schedule and then booking the flights, right? As soon as you book flights and you book a hotel, you're, you're pretty, well, especially with the flights, you're pretty much locked in. So book, book the flights, plan it. And even if it's, you know, three months from now, you may be thinking, am I really going to be able to afford to go and, and whatever? You're, you'll find a way, right? And then if it is with you and your wife, start talking about it um, with each other. Boy, babe, I can't wait. So we, yes. we're going to go down to um, keep Key West or Sarasota, Florida. If you come to Sarasota, Florida, come stop by and say hi. Um, we're talking about it, right? Talk about what we're going to do when we're there. Talk about um, where we're going to eat, how we're going to relax by the pool, or or, what, or maybe mountains for you. You just need to get up and, and see the magnificent creation that, that God created, right? Yeah. Mountains and trees and, you know, something like... That one trip like, to um, Jackson Hole. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Really? Yeah, that's stun- a- stunning. You know, whatever it is, you know, there's great places in Missouri and, <laughs> and the Ozarks and wherever. And we drove yes. that trip. We took that trip. Yeah, and we drove. And, okay, we're in, in the ghetto van. <laughs> we called it. It was just Peter, our and old, really our, our family. We couldn't really afford. <laughs> we did it. But we decided we, we, we were going to do it because yes. it was all part. It was part of in, you know, it's though. right, and it's to do it. So we, we took took the time. Mm-hmm. And what happens? That that's the spice of life. The business is not the spice of life. No. Okay, it's important because it's this asset that we're creating. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're not creating a job. Right. We're creating, um, you know, an asset that will create wealth for us, mm-hmm. which is financial, you know, financial wealth, but time wealth. Correct. All right, to have mm-hmm. this time. So you, you, got, you got to take this time. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it, it would, and when I said that, kind of helped us grow when we started doing that because then we, I, I would kind of live for that next trip. Mm-hmm. So when it's I'm on the books. So when I'm like fighting, you know, and just learning this new stuff and you know, writing checks my body can't cash and just <laughs> pushing forward, pushing forward before things really start taking off, mm. whatever. I knew that what, what went on this trip, yep. I'm, I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to that. Looking forward to going, yep. And then mm-hmm. that's that's living, and, that, and I come back even more just refreshed. Yes. And I'm ready to fight. Yes. Where, is this you a know? time, guys, where you can um, relax your mind with it, right? Um, sit by a pool and have a, an adult beverage. Sit by a campfire, you know, with a nice cup of coffee that you made over a campfire you know, whatever, which I can't imagine that would be good. But I don't know. It might be the atmosphere. Um, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, um, it, you will come back refreshed. And you you know this. This isn't like we're giving you some uh, wise, nobody ever thought of this before. It, it is true. That's why people take vacations is to go and relax. But we don't do relax, it. But and we we've also been, con- been, been conditioned, too, as, you know, blue-collar workers in this mindset. Mm-hmm. We go on a summer vacation. Right. Well, we don't, we, we're kind of using the word vacation here, but we're not – these aren't vacations. No. This is lifestyle. Lifestyle. It's lifestyle. Correct. Just like working getting, out. Timing. Right. You know, working out and, and being healthy. That's a lifestyle. It's not a diet, right? You're not on a diet. You're you're choosing to change your lifestyle to where you eat help more healthy, to where you um, get exercise. Um, that that's a lifestyle. Same thing with this. This is this isn't our one year, like you said, one year annual vacation that we all look forward kind of look forward to, and then we take the kids someplace like Disney um, in Florida. In July, <laughs> <laughs> and you're right. sweating, sweating and all the crowds and all right. that. Everybody's just yeah. whining. Yeah, right. So, <laughs> highly uh, recommend if you're going to go to Disney, which is fine. Disney's whatever right now, but if you're going to go to Disney, the really only time to go is October. Yes, because then the weather's not awful and there's not tons of people. But but there's a million other places better. But you the, can the go. point <laughs> is to to for make the time, schedule yes, the time, schedule and, the time. And we're on the thing of time. You know, that's what we're. You know, time, really what we're looking for is freedom, is, t- is time. Mm-hmm. We, we want to do what we want to do. Right. That's why you know, we so, started our business. So do things like that help save you time, mm-hmm. like have someone clean your house. Yes, clean your house. Is, um, mowing your grass. Right. Shoveling Guys, the snow. Right. Um, whatever it is. You know, something, again, and we've said this a number of times on different shows, um, anything that you can hire out to do that frees you up for either working on your plumbing business to grow your plumbing business or for you to – to take some time off, do that. Cleaning house, um, uh, landscaping. Groceries um, to deliver. Grocery delivery. Oh, my gosh. Um, ladies, get your groceries delivered. If you live in somewhere, and I know some rural places don't do it, but if you live somewhere there's grocery delivery, start doing grocery delivery. Best thing ever. Um, one thing th- that um, we've used in the past is something like a HelloFresh or a HomeFresh or something, the meal delivery. And it's, it's great food. It really, really is good food. You literally can go in and say and it has all the menus of all the foods that you can um, meals you can choose from, and you pick which ones you want, how many servings, all that, and it shows up at your door with everything that you need to prepare the meal. Right. So, and that saves you time, right? And, you know, it takes 20 minutes on the more different to, to prep the meal. Mm-hmm. Yes, and you it's know? delicious. So it's all food. right there. It and rises. ladies, get your kids involved in it too. You know, if you've got kids that are old enough to help, help, because the instructions are really clear. So, 
Yeah, hi, highly it saves, recommend. It saves you time with having yes. to, you know, do, do all these things. So mm -hmm. that, you know, that's Laundry. What, Heck, if you guys have, if ladies, you've <laughs> got, you know, three kids, your job is laundry, right? It's never, in, never ending laundry. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. It's like yeah. you, you get laundry done and it's like, okay. One kid would take change three times a day in 14 <laughs> showers. Mm. Anyway. We, we had the towel issue. <laughs> In then we had to limit it to one. That's a whole other story. Whole other, that was a family crisis. <laughs> that was a family. <laughs> I was going to, anyway. Anyway, right. um, laundry. There's tons of places where you can um, drop it off. You know, the fluff and fold places. Right. Drop off your baskets of laundry. Pick it up. It's all nice and folded. Come home and, and put it away. That saves you time. So doing those types of things that create the freedom lifestyle. Guys, it's not it's not an end all do all and whatever. But it, it's it's having the, the mindset of, um, I'm, I have, I have freedom, creating the freedom that I want, right? right. Um, guys, if you don't have, um, if your wife doesn't have someone coming in to clean her house, your house, but whenever we talk about home management, so it's the ladies, but coming in at least twice a month, get that done, right? Get that done for her. You, and, and then ladies, if you do hire some, when you do hire someone, don't clean the house before they come. <laughs> <laughs> don't clean that that's what they're for, they're there for speaking from experience <laughs> speaking from experience i know you still almost clean what are you the doing entire. waxing the floor sweetheart <laughs> well the cleaning coming, lady's coming tomorrow i wanted to look good for her <laughs> <laughs> i got over that really really quickly but um and it really is exp inexpensive and what you're also doing you're giving somebody else a job yes right you're giving someone who obviously needs a job and that's their their chosen profession or that's it's you know fam a business or whatever it might be it doesn't matter you're giving someone else a job same with the fluff and fold same with someone that shovels the snow or you know does uh, mows the grass does your landscaping whatever you're giving someone else a job so that you can then do the things for your business or have time with your family right so there all we right go. Uh, so do it so, um, scheduling Schedule. time off yeah so right th at the end of this podcast sit down with your wife and um think about okay where can we go someplace um uh, this episode i think is airing sometime midsummer where can we go this fall where can we go this fall where we can just get away for four days? Where would you like to go? Is it the mountains? Is it a lake? Is it the ocean? Um, is it a city? Go to a big city and, you know, take in all the sites and the shows and the food and, and all. It doesn't matter where it is. And then get it on the calendar and book the flights. Just go ahead and book them. Do it. Book the flights. Because flights are also um, less expensive when you book them early, right? Right. Okay, this is a total side note. If you don't have, if you don't have a credit card that gives you miles – You've got the wrong credit card. Get a credit card that gives you miles. Be we haven't paid for a plane ticket in forever. I don't even know when, right? And you pay that credit card off every month. So you're using that credit card, whether you use it for, you may have one for personal. We had mm -hmm. one for personal and one for business. And one for business. So mm -hmm. like the business, we paid for all of our supplies mm -hmm. when we made it through. I've, I've talked about this before, you know, the, the big recession or whatever and everything. We mm -hmm. almost, you know. A lot of companies lost, mm -hmm. but you know we went to cash. Yes. Okay, so we were paid, and then we kept doing that, which mm -hmm. I, we recommended our clients do right. the same thing mm -hmm. with your supplies. Mm -hmm. So when we got the supplies, it'd be put on that card. Right. So think of all the thousands of dollars of supplies. Yes. You know. And then think also about um, putting your groceries oh, on yes. a credit card. Now, again, you have to pay it off. Don't have yes. credit for groceries. It's something that you pay off, okay, at least every month. Yes. Um, but groceries, um, gas, and clothes, Amazon, just go put your – your mileage, your, you know, American Airlines or United Airlines or whatever credit card out on Amazon. How many times a day do you use Amazon, right? Those miles build up pretty quickly and pretty soon you, you won't be paying for any air travel. You just won't. So even going first class. And then if you're, you become a part right. of it long enough, you get different statuses and you get upgraded and all that. That's lifestyle, guys. That, that's lifestyle. It's not what life is all about. The, again, if we, that's not what we're saying. We're not saying, gosh, you just have to go out and blah, 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 only to be happy. That isn't we're not, what we're saying and at that, all. Yeah, that doesn't create happiness. Now, no. you know, having, having money does help create freedom. Correct. <laughs> all right. And that tool. freedom, we can tend to be a little bit, you know, you know, if you're an unhappy person, if you have a, a lot of free time, <laughs> you're still going to be unhappy <laughs> in the free time. Mm -hmm. So whether it depends on what kind of person you are. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it definitely provides, you know, freedom does make life more enjoyable. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And to be able to do, you know, do those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you're still, it's not, it's not the end all to end all. No. In fact, to this day, you know, and I still come from where I come from, uh, you know, we, we, we do fly first class, mm -hmm. you know, um, and to this day, it's like, I can't believe I'm in first class. I, I'm, you know, I consider myself okay. just, you know, just the regular mm -hmm. whatever. My family and, never, and so, and so we never took air. You we know, know. Oh, we never, never went on an airplane. Never. No. Uh -uh. When right. I was growing up. No way. 
So, you know, yeah. Just and, and yes, it is more expensive, but if you're using the miles, you don't really, and it is a lot of miles. I mean, mm -hmm. but if you're building those miles or whatever, mm -hmm. um, but it just, I look at it more like just being grateful. Mm -hmm. And this is okay. This is what this is kind of the fruit of my labor yep. of working on. And these you're things. setting, you're kind of setting the tone for wherever it is that you're going, right? Because yeah. they, you do get better service. It's a different experience in first class. It just is. So it kind of sets the tone for you going away for three or four days. So you've you've taken the time. You've you've scheduled it. You know, three months ago you scheduled it out. You yeah. booked the flights. You're you've been talking with your spouse about it, getting all excited, and then you go to get on the plane and you're crammed in with everybody else, and it's just mm, uh -huh. you know right. Mm -hmm. But if you do first class, you're the first one on. They, they're serving you water or drinks or whatever, even before the plane takes off. It just sets the tone for the whole the whole trip. Big seats. Yes. Relax, more leg room. Mm -hmm. okay. Freedom lifestyle, guys. <laughs> Freedom right. lifestyle. Yes. Time. All okay. right. Mm -hmm. So schedule those times. Schedule mm -hmm. the time because if yes. you don't, you won't. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hey, before we move on to the our final point here, mm -hmm. which you're not going to want to miss, mm -hmm. I have something for you just for joining us today. <laughs> Check this out. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. My gift to you for simply being a Potty Talk listener. Go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free. Plumb like a champion. All right, welcome back. Mm -hmm. All right, we're talking about how do I have more freedom? Right. What, how can I create more freedom with, with my plumbing, plumbing business. business? What I want to know is how we can get more reviews for our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> was that a segue? That was yes. a rough, sorry. But if you're whatever your platform you're listening to us on or watching us on, we'd really appreciate you giving us a thumbs up and a review. You guys know that reviews are important to your business. It's important to our business as well. So please go out and give us a review. We would really appreciate it. And a follow and a yes. like and all the things. All right. Do mm -hmm. it. All right. Mm -hmm. Share some love. Yes. So appreciate how we're it. creating um, freedom with our plumbing business. For one, no more nights, weekends, holidays. You've stopped that. Stop Starting it. Starting right now. Stop. Stop it. Done. Um, then also schedule time off. Um, right now, you're going to schedule something. Again, I'm pretty sure this episode airs mid-summer. Mm -hmm. um, schedule something for fall. After the kids go back to or, school or, or whatever, right? Schedule something this fall. You and your spouse go somewhere. Figure out what, what that looks like. Um, and then, yeah, put in the comments. Wherever you're watching this, say, I just scheduled just scheduled a time to come down to Sarasota. Know. Let's have dinner. All right. Let, let okay. us know. <laughs> and then, also, what's the next thing you want to talk about? Finally. And it was always... We got it. We got to start. We got to get into this part. Okay. All right. Get your butt out of the truck. <laughs> okay. You will never be free mm -hmm. when your butt's in the truck. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. In fact, that's what that's what we drive drive towards. You know, in the Success Academy mm -hmm. and we work with our clients. Whatever is mm -hmm. is to get your butt out of the truck. Mm -hmm. Okay. You will never be free as long as your butt is anywhere near the truck. <laughs> <laughs> right. That means hire somebody. Yes. There's always a question. We've had a free um, Facebook group. It's called Plumbing Business Success Success Group for plumbing business owners only. Um, but yeah, there's always a question in there. When should I hire my first guy? Right. The answer is right now. Right now. Yesterday is actually the answer. In fact, you will always be recruiting. That's another su subject, but mm -hmm. I can't I can't pass by this because. <laughs> Recruit, recruit, recruit. Always, always recruit. recruiting. Doesn't yes. mean you have to hire them, but right. you're always recruiting. Even when you're in 12, 15 trucks and all the things. And this is a great crew. I got the best. They're the best. <laughs> the best crew. They're going to be with you forever or whatever. Or no, uh, that's right. not true. Recruit, recruit, recruit. Never stop recruiting. Okay. Um, so, yeah, making sure that um, you you hire. You need someone now. If yes. you started a plumbing, an actual plumbing business, not a charity and not a hobby, um, the, the only way to grow is obviously to have other technicians. And right. now is the time to do it. Not a helper. Yeah, right. Stop. Okay, guys, stop with hiring a helper first. Okay. That's just stupid. That is overhead you do not need. Right. And that's just you being lazy. Yes. So, so I'm going to run parts for you or run, run and get your tools. Run the line. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just go back to being a plumber at that right. point. That's not a business. That nope. is not a business. Um, so, yes, hire immediately at least one, if not two, because what will happen is you will get work for them. Right. You just it, you just will, um, you you will you've got employees right on the payroll now, um, and you're like oh, I got to be doing things to grow my business so that I can keep these guys working. You'll do the things necessary. Right. So the answer is hire someone now. Keep your butt out of the truck. Get, get the butt out. Get your mm -hmm. butt out of the truck. All right. Hire someone. What if what if I don't have enough work or whatever? Then you find, get rid of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got to move them on. I mean, it's not it's just it's it's business. Right. Okay. You can't that that'll hold you back. You'll never get free. 
All right. You'll also never get free if, if you have the attitude, well, I'm the best at plumbing. No one knows as much about plumbing as me. And I got to be on that. that <laughs> That's right. You'll never, you'll never be free then. No. You'll, you'll never be. Yeah. Right. So when you're hiring someone, you're looking at, it, at the guy and you're going, oh, he's, he's just not going to be as, as good as me or good as a plumber. Okay. Well then how's that working out for you? Right. So right. you'll never get anybody else in the truck um, to get your butt out of the truck. And then you're just you're working constantly, working constantly until, again, we say it all the time, until you're 60, your knees are gone, and you just, you got to close up. Yep. Yep. You will never find, more than likely, a plumber um, that does everything exactly as you want it done and that does it as good as you because more than likely you're a really, really good plumber. You're just, you're not going to find someone. Right. On the, on the you know, outside, I'm trying to think of all the plumbers we had. There may have been two or three other um, plumbers who we thought, man, they're, they're really, they're a lot better than you, right? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I wouldn't say any? a lot oh. better. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry, they're slightly better? <laughs> they were They were in my league. Oh, That's how I like to look at it. <laughs> Sorry, did, Whoa. I, did I just diss you? The lovely Laura oh, just uh, dissed me. <laughs> Is that what I meant? Okay. Can, I re- can we cut okay. that part <laughs> out? <laughs> or it's the truth, <laughs> I guess. And my ego doesn't want to recognize it. Mm. But that the point is, no, it's, well, it's a good point. Sorry, <laughs> that, but, but no, it's true. There's probably only of the hundreds, mm. you know, a hand, you know, three, mm-hmm. five, mm-hmm. that would be at, they could walk into, it. walk and look at the plumbing and it fix itself. It fixes itself. And it's right. like, uh, how'd you do that? You know, so yeah, there were guys that I would, that I said, that gone, that guy's good. That's good. You know, but most... Well, overwhelmingly, mm-hmm. the best would be be eighty percent of you, right? And All that's right. okay, guys. It's right. okay. Now, certainly, you want to constantly be giving them training and bringing in, you know, um, companies to to teach them on equipment and all those things. Of course, right? So you're hopefully calling guys up, um, but they're they're always going to frustrate you to some degree, right? They're always going to frustrate. However, they do plumbing because it's not there's. 14 different ways to skin a cat or right. whatever, right? There's right. different ways to do different things, and certainly that's the case with plumbing. So, you know, you've got to gotta let go of that that thing of, okay, i got to make sure everybody's the best and the quality's and all's the best. Oh, yes, we're going to work towards that. But you got to let go of it, mm. all right, and not micromanage it. Because or if your you butt's going to be in the truck. truck. And you'll never be free. Mm. And even if your butt's not in the truck, mm. we, f- we see the same s- situation where your, your butt's in the, in the, the day-to-day mm. grind. Right. Okay, so you mount, you may be in a position now, and that's the next transition that we see that we do get you out of the truck, but you're there on every jot, you're there on everything, and mm-hmm. your you know your head is is always constantly there. Or, yeah, you're day to day. You're micromanaging them, right? right? And that, that doesn't give your employees freedom either. So right. you know, remember when you were a plumber for another company? If you had someone like that who's always kind of on you constantly about, you know, whatever you're doing. Well, yeah, what's going on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Nobody wants that. Right. No, nobody wants to work that way. Or just you feel like you you don't have to be the first in and the last out all the time. <laughs> Into the shop. Into the shop. Mm-hmm. Right. Most okay. assuredly. You, you don't, not. especially mm-hmm. you, you guys, are, you know, we're, talk, we're talking about freedom here, time freedom here, okay. You know, you get to a size, you'll have someone that you can put in place that they open up the shop. They, Correct. you a know, GM. a GM. Right, mm-hmm. that kind of a thing. Yes. Okay. And you're never going to have a GM unless you get your butt out of the truck. Right. Because your co- your business is not going to grow. So if you're constantly with looking at plumbers when they have to be as good as me and they have to be perfect and they all these things, that you're, you're setting yourself up for And failure. it's get, getting your mind out of the <clears throat> truck, which is going to free you up time-wise, mm-hmm. is, you know, this idea that, you know, the, the plumbing, okay? You need to start thinking on the business stuff. And that right. you can do, you know, it's a, it's a different game there. It's going to provide more freedom. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, that, that's where freedom is really found. Right. You know? So, again... Um, and I th- this was great. One of our my favorite topics, talking about freedom. Again, guys, think about why did you start your plumbing business? What was the reason you started your plumbing business? Um, we, what's your why, right? But initially, so you worked for another company, and you something th- something happened, right? Uh, you came to a point and said, "That's it. I'm done. I'm starting my own plumbing company." There was something that happened. What what, what was the reason behind that? What did you want? To make more more money, be successful have freedom. Again, nine times out of 10 is I want more freedom. So don't create a business that's going to enslave you just like you were when you were working for another company. Don't don't create that. Create the business that you want that gives you the freedom so you can schedule time off so that you don't have to be working nights, weekends, and holidays so that your butt can be out of the truck. That's the freedom. But ask yourself, you and your wife talk about why do we have this plumbing business? You know, what, what was the reason? 
and then you you, you build you build your plumbing company around that. Yes. There we go. It's it's a choice. Mm-hmm. And choice, you know, and what's the opposite of freedom? And as is a word we don't don't like in our society, but slave, mm-hmm. you know, and that's what we you become as a slave to this to this to this business that you created. Yeah, right. That's what's just so crazy. You've created a business that you've allowed it to enslave you. Why right. in the world are you doing that? That's just insanity. Yes. So, and you don't, you don't, you don't have, you to. don't need to do that. Right. Right. So go out and create the freedom lifestyle, whatever freedom means to you, go out and create that freedom lifestyle. Okay. Okay. All right. Hey, if, if you want to, um, you're looking to grow your plumbing business or you're, you're starting your plumbing business or you're just maybe just stuck. You're trying to get to the next level. Hey, we want to help. So schedule your free strategy call with one of my strategic advisors. Strategic advisor. Strategic advisors. <laughs> advisor, that sounds fancy. It does sound All right. very fancy. It's just, it's just going to be a guy who's, who's grown a plumbing <laughs> business too, you know, multi-truck, multi-million dollar plumbing business. And it's he's gone gonna, through our system. Gone through our system, right? Mm-hmm. So he knows what all we could provide if, if there's a, you know, if that makes sense for you mm-hmm. in your situation. But the bottom line is not going to be pushy. We want to hear what your issue is. Mm-hmm. All right, and we're going to give you a solution to fix that issue and to get you where you want to be, okay? And that's it. So simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call. C-A-L-L. Okay, yeah. and schedule your free strategy call. All right. All right, there freedom. we go. Freedom. freedom. All right, that's how you get freedom. No mm-hmm. nights or weekends. Mm-hmm. Schedule the time off mm-hmm. and get your butt out of the truck. Yep. All right? Okay. It is that simple. Mm-hmm. All right, so do it. Mm-hmm. All right, hey, another good one here. But before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. I agree.